Okay, so the story goes like this. A pilot was transitioning into his first turboprop after years in the Skyhawk. One evening, he was cleared for the visual into Pocatello Airport. He was a little high, uh, but he thought, no problem, I'll just bring it down quickly like I always did in the 172. You know, but this turboprop, I think it was a caravan airport. I'll build the modified right in final uh, runway two. Uh, sorry that, about that. We got some traffic. But this, uh, I think he was flying a caravan, and the caravan didn't bleed speed like like in the old uh, Cessna 172. You know, so he pulled the power back to idle. He pushed the nose over, and the speed only climbed, and it and it climbed fast. Um, suddenly, he was barreling toward the runway at 180 knots with the flaps still tucked away. The runway, which looked enormous at the start, now felt like a short little strip, which he was quickly using um, all the available runway. So by the time the airplane got slowed, he was halfway down the runway, and Tower said, go around. So he gave full power, went around, and probably feeling stupid, you know, his... Uh, stage check pilot or instructor pilot looked over at him and said, you know, fast airplanes aren't like cars. You can't just slam on the brakes and stop. You know, they're more like freight trains. Once you've built up the speed, you have to plan the slowdown, you know, miles ahead. And so that night, the pilot learned a valuable lesson. And that is, in fast airplanes, you manage the energy early. You start your descent with a plan. You use your drag tools before it's too late. And remember, you, can't always, you can always ask ATC for a few extra miles or some uh, delay vectors, but you can't ask physics to stop a 6,000-pound airplane on a dime.